we have a problem in this country. We throw away 28 million tons of furniture every year. Oh. So if there's an opportunity for us to be able to take something, rescue and restore it and redecorate with it, it makes it that much better. Yeah. So what I thought we could do today is show you how you can take normal, ordinary objects that you uh -huh. would see maybe by the dumpster mm -hmm. and make them into beautiful pieces of art. Cool. Love so it. look over here. You're going to see a piece that we made that's in one of the projects in the book. So it's actually a piece from my house, and it's made from pallet wood and a lot of different products that we're going to show you about. Nice. Wonderful. Are you ready? Take us through it. Let's do all it. All right. So got everybody's us. got their own section set up, and Thank you'll you. notice they've already got a lot of texture. So that's one thing that you want to look for is you're going to have a, a varying degrees of texture but also color. Mm -hmm. So these have been cut for you, and this would be possibly the size that you would work. I want you to make sure that you find a frame. I love finding them at antique shops, garage sales, estate sales, and you can usually get them for about $10 or $15. So that's the first thing we want to get. And the frame, uh -huh. like a mix between the opulent gold and like a rustic kind of wood thing is a nice combo, I'm right? very proud of you for noticing I watch that. HGTV a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a positioning that's really important and can be very successful when we're doing that. And you notice that it's all chipped up. I didn't mind that at all. I just yeah. think that added oh, to yeah. the beauty yeah. of it. That's character. Yep. That's right. That's a story to tell. So you find it on an old ship somewhere or something, like an old pirate ship. You, you can make up any story <laughs> you yeah. want. Make yeah. it up. Lie to people. All right. So the first thing we need to be able to do, once we've laid this out, and you'll notice there's different colors as well. The other thing you'll notice on our palette wood is that some of them have varying degrees of white. Uh huh. So we just used some ceruzine wax, which basically is a white pigment that goes in the wax. And now we're ready to do the most fun. All right. We're going to do some image transferring. Okay. So you'll notice these pieces that you have sitting next to you are designs. Now, Kelly, we know how much you love your grandmother. Yes. So Aww. you have this beautiful lace design. And then you can, you can also take pictures. Let's say you have a beautiful quilt that you love, or maybe you're oh, someplace yeah. and you see a picture. Take a picture of it, and you can print it later, and it's going to become a part of your art. Nice. Oh, that's okay. a wonderful idea. Ben, you'll notice yours. You've got a second baby. Yeah. So yours has a little bit more of a baby thing. Burberry. Burberry, yeah. or maybe a family tartan plaid. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take a sponge brush, and I want you to apply the image transfer solution, I call it copycat, okay. to copycat. the front of the paper. So go on and just dip your brush in, and then we're going to apply it all over. Make sure that it's got 100% coverage. Okay. Kelly, think about it as if you were painting your nails. Oh. You want to do long, clean Clearly strokes. Clearly, I haven't done that either. <laughs> Lord knows. Looks like I've been juggling piranhas. <laughs> Awful. Okay, that was my joke. But I'm Zanies later that tonight. That was good. That was good. And you want to make sure that your application is pretty easy. There's no grade on this, but so far you're not getting an A. Uh, but okay. um, yeah. so just surprise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so No, you're not. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. All right, so let's go in and go to our second piece. Oh, there's more than one? Yes. Okay, great. So you've got a second image here. Yep. Let's go on and get it on the front of that. Just long, clean strokes. All right, so now here's the other important thing that we need to do. Double time, double time, double time. Double time, double time. All right, yeah. so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're going to apply the same copycat solution uh -huh. to the board that we're going to put this on, and okay. we're going to marry them together, okay? Okay. Oh. So you notice we put the copycat solution on the front where the color image is, and now we're going to put it on the board as well. Are there any questions? Nope, that's pretty self-explanatory. The other thing that's really important to remember is we're not going to print this off on just regular uh, paper. We do want to use like an 80-pound paper, so that oh, way it's not yeah. going to curl up. Paper. It is. It's pretty heavy paper. I, I didn't mean to oh, mess right. up your nails. That's, it's quite all right. She's a crafter. Gosh. It's water-based, so it's going to come off. Wait just a minute. Okay. Remember, we're marrying the front of it. Right. With that image, I with the wood. Yes. Look, so we do the, so oh. like this. Now, this image here, we're going to do it this way. I'm clenching. I am. <laughs> Certain parts of my body are clenching right now. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, You're put doing it, great. Like this, like down, like this. That's great. So you just want to make sure that the two oh, the two surfaces are put together. Great job. Yep. So now press this in. That's called burnishing. All right. I'm so going to have the turkey sandwich extra burnished, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Okay, sorry. So burnish this in really well, and we want this to dry about two hours. Oh. Two hours. So what fast, should we do until then? Fast forward. <laughs> fast forward. Come over here, and I'm going to show you what. So this is dry. And the only thing I want you to do is I do want you to take some tap water. Make sure it's warm. Okay. okay. It's going to work better that way. Just take a regular lint-free rag. So it doesn't leave. And I'm residue. just going to rub this off. Do you start to see the oh, design? Oh, my yeah. gosh. And the backing of the paper is going to start to come off into little pebbles. Uh -huh. And now let's go over here and see your reveal. All right. So yeah. these are the pieces that we did. Let's turn these over so okay. you can see the images on the board. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So you can take any personal photograph of anything and so anything that, lay it on here. That's right. So you think you've got these beautiful uh, palette wall pieces. You could have a piece of art like this. Maybe you'll come back and put knobs on it. You could hang jewelry from it. I love it. Um, what I love telling my students is now it's your turn to go enjoy the bragging rights. Oh. Right. Well, I thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you so much. That was fun.